stop, children, watch that sound. Everybody look what's going down. I believe the Lord has shown me that we're in a season of faith during this time regarding the next move of His Spirit. While we're in seasons of faith, that this represents Ezekiel chapter 37. It says, The hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Maybe that's what a lot of us are experiencing right now. This is very characteristic from our end. God may have us sitting right now but in the valley of dry bones. But look at this. The hand of the Spirit of the Lord carried. The Spirit of the Lord has brought us here. In spite of how it doesn't look like that this could ever happen. That this is some impossible dream. Some fantasy imagination. Then that means that we're in the valley full of bones. Is that where God has to deal with our faith first in the, with the impossible before he begins to bring things forth. And then it says in chapter 2, caused me to pass by them and all around them. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and they were very dry. So we're looking at something very totally impossible to the human mind, to the human eye. But yet he was looking at God's dream and goal and purpose. But then he said to Ezekiel, Son of man, can these bones live? God was knocking on the door of faith with Ezekiel. And I believe that's exactly what he's doing with us right now before this next move of the Spirit begins to come forth. You may feel foolish. You may feel like somebody's led you into a valley of dry bones. Let me tell you, if nothing else, it will be a revelation of your faith in the eyes of God. And everything's going to have to start with faith. So Ezekiel answered him. He answered God's knock on his door of faith with, O oh Lord God, you know. You know, God. Now that wasn't a confession of unbelief because he was still believing in what God can do. But God seemed to have tossed the ball right back to Ezekiel when he said unto him, Prophesy upon these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. Now look at the things that was being prophesied over dead bones. And I believe that's where we are right now in the spirit of this move of God. I will continue to prophesy. Speak to the bones. And then he shifts the view completely and totally. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. The glory of the Lord Jesus Christ is at the center of every move and work that God does. And Ezekiel said, so I prophesied as I, I was commanded. That's, that's where we are. We're in obedience right now. We are in the valley of dry bones of spirituality in the church and to the lost. Calling us to prophesy in the valley of dry bones to, in faith in what God can do, not what we can do. And while he was speaking, he said, and as I prophesied, there was a noise. <laughs> Hallelujah. I believe that from this point that we're in, the next thing is going to be a noise. I don't know how to define that, but he heard something. He knew something. In other words, something was being shook up. God was doing something. 
And it goes on to say, And behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And I think that's a gathering together. Getting things set up the Lord, the way the Lord wants them set up and brought together. Stop, children, watch that sound. Everybody look what's going down.